So, good evening. We're back again. It is silly season. Yes, the transfer window is open. And um, I'm sure that Arsenal will be a bit busy in this transfer window. We've got a load of players that don't want to be here. They can't stand the manager. The manager can't stand them. Uh, Aubameyang being the main one, we'll come to him in a second. Obviously, he has gone to the AFCON. He's already left. He's in Dubai, sunning himself and um, joined up with his Gabon teammates already. And uh, Maitland-Niles, another one, linked with Roma. Eddie Nketiah linked with Leverkusen. Nicola Pepe, also linked with a move away as well. Plenty of, plenty, plenty of action to come in January. Whether any of this actually happens uh, remains to be seen. Um, let's talk about Aubameyang. And uh, I know I spoke about this briefly towards the end of my stream earlier on this afternoon. And big up to everybody who's watched that as well. Mad love as always. And um, like I've said a million times before, my factual information doesn't care about your feelings or vibes or conspiracy theories. Facts about the club. The club is the star. Star in Spanish is Estrella. Uh, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> I won't say it in Spanish. I won't say it. Uh, <laughs> but there we go. Anyway, uh, the club is the star. Um, and, um, that has always been the case. That is exactly what I am on this channel to do to make the club go back to being classy, the Arsenal football club. Winning titles should be where we're at, competing for titles. We're not going to do that with some of the players that we've got in the squad, Eddie and Ketia being one of them. He is linked, Eddie and Ketia, to Leverkusen. And um, again, a bit of a weird one, if I'm honest. I would have thought that um, I would have thought that he maybe wanted to have tested himself in the Premier League. But having said that, he isn't a great striker. He's an average striker at best. Would he get into many Premier League starting 11s? Well, he ain't getting in the top four. He ain't getting in the top six. He probably ain't getting into... Probably ain't getting into Wolves either. Let's be real. They've got Jimenez. Um, they've got Pedro Neto out on the wing. He ain't getting in at that team. They've got Adama Traore. I don't particularly rate, but different type of player. Uh, would he get in at Brighton? Possibly. Possibly. They create a hat full of chances, Brian. They won again today. And um, they create a lot, a lot of chances. A lot, a lot of chances. Uh, would he fit in a Brian? Probably. Would they pay any um, any money to get him out of his contract in January? No. Can he talk to anyone in England now? No. Is he only allowed to speak to teams abroad? Yes. Which is maybe, just maybe, why he's speaking to Leverkusen. Because although Leverkusen, I don't think, will pay him what the Premier League teams will play him, uh, pay him, sorry. I do think that he will get game time over there. And let's be real, that league's rubbish. So he'll look like an absolute superstar in the Bundesliga. He'll probably end up at Bayern Munich inside three years and we'll all be going, oh, if only we hadn't let Eddie go. <laughs> you can see it happening. Listen, if Chupa Motting can get into a, to a Bayern Munich team, maybe Eddie and Ketty has got a chance after all. I don't know. Uh, do I see it happening? If I'm honest, I don't really know. Um, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? You know, he's, he's living in London. He's not going to... Listen, he could potentially go to Palace, maybe. Fulham. He ain't going to get into West Ham. Um, although they do need a striker. But I don't think he's good enough for where they want to get to. And, um, um, well, listen, he can't speak to any of them clubs until the summer when he's officially out of contract. I'm pretty sure that for him and his family, he'd want to get this tied up immediately. And when I say immediately, by the end of this month, I know where his future lies going forward. Because it is a short career, let's be real. And um, an extra five, ten grand a week when you're already a multi-millionaire probably isn't any any worries, really. You can still pay your bills. Don't really matter. You can go and test yourself in a different league, which is worse than the Premier League. You're going to get game time. Good luck to Eddie and Ketty if he goes. Uh, Maitland-Niles linked with Roma. Jose Mourinho. And um, I could see this happening as well, if I'm honest. And um, Everton are linked as well. If I'm him, I ain't going to Everton. No disrespect, but they are pony at the moment. And um, I watched a bit of their game earlier on today. Jesus Christ, that Calvert-Lewin shanked a penalty over. It hit the bar. I mean, what was he doing? They gave it a little fight back in the end, but Brighton are a quality football team, man. Really, really good to watch. I like watching Brighton. They really have a go. It doesn't matter who they play against. They play the same way and they go and have it. Graham Potter's a quality manager, man. Um, he could go and join up with his uh, ex-Arsenal teammate, Alex Awobi. I just don't see it happening, if I'm honest. I don't think he'll go to Everton. Again, he can't um, he can't speak to anyone right now. Um, oh, no, actually, he can. Sorry, I'm lying. Um, obviously, he can. He's not down to the last couple of months of his contract, so he can't agree a pre-contract for the end of the season. Um, 
like uh, like Eddie can with a team abroad. But what he can do is um, is he can contact or be contacted by any club and uh, maybe get a move through in January. I suppose <clears throat> that probably works the same for Eddie thinking about it, doesn't it? If a team come in and want to pay a fee for Eddie and Ketty, then I'm sure they're going to contact him which is how it works now. It used to be backwards. It used to be different. It used to be contact the club, then contact the player. Now it's contact the player, then contact the club for the fee. So I suppose thinking about it, Eddie could go in January if they paid a fee and then they could contact him, these clubs. So yeah, maybe he could go in January. Um, Maitland-Niles, I don't see him I don't see him going to Everton. He's 24 years old. He's coming up to the, the midway point of his career. If I'm him, I'm going to go and work with Jose. Straight up, I'm going to Jose. Yeah, earn your stripes out there. He's a quality player. He can play multiple positions. Go and get, go and get yourself into Jose's Roma. Learn from one of the goat managers of all time, and then maybe get yourself a move back to the Premier League in a couple of years' time. Or you may even get yourself a move to one of the big, bigger and better clubs over in Italy and be in Champions League um, contention every season. I don't know, but listen, I like Maitland Niles. It's a scandal. That he's even in this position. Big up to Maitland Niles, man. I like him a lot. Real, real top player. Uh, whether it's at right back or midfield, I think he's better at right back, if I'm honest. I don't think he necessarily has the passing range for midfield. Um, but I do like him. And that season we got to the uh to the final. Um, I thought he was quality and he was playing at right back. So yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, let's go on to Nicola Pepe. £57 million replacement for Nico Pepe. Uh, look, this football London are a shambles, mate. Some of the stories they come out with. Nicola Pepe is linked with quite a few Italian teams. There's nothing concrete. None of it's solid. There's no actual reports of Nicola Pepe being actually officially linked to any club. It's just hearsay. And uh, it's probably just like me sitting on here saying, well, I could, see, I could sit here right now and I could say that Leno's linked to West Ham. Tomorrow, you'll see that in the newspaper. That's all it comes down to. These people watch all of these streams and go, oh, that's a good story. That's believable. So they make a story up and say, according to reports. What reports? Why didn't you link them, mate? Oh, because you made them up. And that's, I think, what a lot of this Nicola Pepe story is. Listen, Nicola Pepe ain't going anywhere now. Yeah, he's got, apart from to the AFCON, after that, he's coming back. And at the end of the season, yeah, I do think we will sell him. Um, but that don't mean anything's going to happen now. No chance. Ivory Coast has got a chance to go all the way to the final in that as well, by the way. So I don't see anything happening with Nico Pepe in this window. Somebody I do see something happening, even though he's at the AFCON as well, is a Bamiang. And uh, the latest story with a Bamiang is that he is linked to Newcastle. Newcastle United make contact with Arsenal over a Bamiang. We then read this article, right? <laughs> this is how funny it is. This is in this is in um, Marker, Premier League version. Uh, with Marker is a Spanish outlet. It says, he was recently stripped of the captaincy at the Emirates. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's future at Arsenal remains uncertain, with a new Newcastle willing to take advantage of the situation and bring him to St. James's Park. The Gabon International recently stripped to the captain's armband at Arsenal, following an internal disciplinary issue and has not participated in any Gunners' last six games. Reports by the Mirror, yeah, as reported by the Mirror, <laughs> Arsenal already made contact. Newcastle have already made contact with Arsenal as they look to take a Bamiang on loan, with the deal potentially including a chance to make a permanent in the summer for 20 mil. A Bamiang has already been given permission to join up with his international team for the Africa Cup of Nations, and it will come as a welcome break for the 32 year old as he no longer appears to be in Mikel Arteta's plans at the Emirates. Newcastle needs signings, um, they desperately need to strengthen their squad, and they look to avoid relegation. With this new wealthy ownership prepared to invest in order to beef up the team with quality signings, um, Eddie Howe has said, January, as I've said many times, is notoriously difficult to predict and have a clear plan. These buzzwords don't have to keep doing the rounds, don't they? And at the moment, they're still virtually impossible because there's twists and turns to come. To come. Uh, the group of players we have here is my is here my... That makes no sense. We have here is my, that's me being the twat, and has been my main focus. Um, we will continue to remain focused because, as you say, getting the best out of every single one of those players is key to us staying up. So basically, the Daily Mirror have reported Aubameyang going to Newcastle, which basically means it's a load of old cod swallop and uh, he ain't going to Newcastle. Um, having said that, 
he does want to get out. And I think we want him out. I think that's been pretty uh, pretty evident from this manager. This manager is a direct, uh, a dictator. He's a director of um, yes men. He doesn't know how to handle personalities. We've seen that with other players. It's no coincidence that um, Aubameyang was absolutely superb until Arteta came in, and now he's gone off the boil. Didn't have this with uh, with Wenger for six months when he came in. Didn't have this with Unai Emery when he was winning Golden Boots. Didn't have this until the FA Cup final. And then what changed? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I tell you what changed. It turned into a youth project from let's compete for Champions League. It turned into a youth project. 32-year-old Aubameyang don't want no part of the youth project, it looks like. And who can blame him? He's in the last couple of years of his career. Why does he want to be playing with a load of kids? Do you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, listen, I don't dislike Aubameyang. In fact, I still think he's quality. And I think that this manager has absolutely crucified him, ruined him, and shot his confidence to pieces. I wish him all the best. I hope he can get the best club he can get, whether, whether that's Newcastle, whether that's Real Madrid that he's been linked to, whether that's Juve he's been linked to, whether that's Barca he's been linked to, or any other football club. He could go to Chelsea. I've been saying that for weeks. And um, they didn't miss a Lukaku today with their 2-2 draw. Funny how they didn't capitulate going 2-0 down to Liverpool, isn't it? Mm, no free hits for Chelsea actually came back and probably should have won the game. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section to all of that. Um, Eddie and Ketia, Maitland-Niles, Nico Pepe and Aubameyang. Where do you see him going? Do you see him going anywhere? Uh, leave it. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow with Rants and Bants on here, 4pm uh, UK time. That should be good. Man United played tomorrow as well. Um, pretty much straight after. In fact, I might actually see if he wants to do the show a bit earlier. Um because I think they kick off at R5. So he'll literally be coming on here and straight on there. So yeah, let me see if he wants to do it a bit earlier. I'll keep you posted anyway, guys. Uh, big up for all the support and um, mad love. Don't forget, I'll tear her out.